Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Tees Tarot. We are doing your You versus Them reading for July 2023. Today's July 13th. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If this isn't your story, don't make it fit. It is for Cancers out there. Um, when I meditate on the cards, I do ask my spirit team to relay messages um, for the Cancer that needs to hear any healing messages the most. So that is how I tap into the energy when I start to resonate with your energy. Meditate on the cards. So you versus them, you will be on this side. They will be on this side. You can flip roles if you see fit. That is, uh, it is your story. You know your story. Um, but I intend to have cancers over here, their person over here. Their person could be anyone from a mother, lover, brother, cousin, aunt, anyone in between, boss, a uh, colleague, uh, you name it. So I will draw a card for them, which I've promised in my uh, past three videos for Aries, Taurus, and also Gemini. I promised to uh, pick a card for their person. Um, that didn't happen, though, when cards fell out, um, we could tap into their energy. So your person right now, as I was speaking about, that is the Knight of Cups, okay? So a strong, loving person, someone very kind, very generous, very creative, wanting to bring love to you with a love offer, okay? So that is how you may know your person. That could be a Cancer, also a Scorpio or a Pisces, okay? So pay attention to that. The Knight of Cups is how you will know your person either they know you and they may be offering you a cup of love maybe to go out somewhere or you just met someone and they're um past the page of cups stage and they're wanting to get to know you um this cup uh the knight of cups is the most lover loving most nurturing most creative so they may have um creative um uh persona okay so, uh, Tease Tarot, thank you for being here. Hit that like button. Um, I would love if you would. It really does help the channel grow. And it puts me up in the algorithm. And I would do the same for you. So, um, it's just, I always, um, when I'm watching any video, no matter what it is, um, music, anything, I'm always liking, subscribing, because I'm watching it. So, why not? Uh, it's free to like, free to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, it's all in the description box below, but for all new subscribers for this month, I will be drawing a name for August for a free reading with me. Um, also, Taurus um, was the highest views all time, okay? Uh, but last month to the highest views, uh, second to Taurus was Leo. So I am uploading, will be this month, uploading a bonus video for um, the Taurus Collective, okay? So this is Cancer, you versus them. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. It's masculine, feminine energies that we are looking at. And this could be anyone to you. Could be someone that has a love offer. We'll see what they're thinking about, how they're feeling towards you. It seems like a lot of love. We will be clarifying, which, of course, I forgot to do. Or it wasn't really necessary in the uploads this week for Aries, um, Taurus and Gemini. It was pretty straightforward. And I wish you all the best, Cancer. We are in Cancer season. So happy birthday to all of the very loving, nurturing, kind uh, Cancers out there. Okay. So the first card um, is, this is you. Okay. This shows you showing up in your reading. Okay. So because it's the first card that fell out on your side, this is you or someone you know, someone very, very close to you, Page of Swords, okay? This is, could, I feel like it's a, um, a, a young person, okay, that you may know um, that has things to say and will say them. Uh, the Page of Swords is brutally honest at all times. This would be Gemini, um, Aquarius, or I always, Libra, right? I always know two and forget one. Okay, so yes, Aries, no, sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, okay? Uh, someone has something to say, whether it's to you or to someone else, but they're coming in swift. They have strong words, okay? It could be loving words that are strong, but they're going to be speaking swiftly, 
and they need to say things to get things off their chest. They want to air things out. This could be you or someone you know that is very close to you. Okay. Feel that it could be a child. Um, if you do have a child, they have something to share with you. Okay. And they want to speak their truth and their the sword sign is not afraid to speak their truth and to speak up. So that is what they're all about. Um, they would their kingdom would not survive if they didn't speak fairly, justly. It may not be kind, but it's necessary for them to say different things, whether in loving or words or just sort of putting it all out there on the table. They need to be heard. Okay. So this uh immature energy, because it's a page, it's a message that's coming to you this week. Okay. What is the past situation for cancer? So I'm going to put that right beside the uh, energy of the Knight of Cups. So you're coming in with a love. Someone's coming in with a love offer and someone has a lot of mighty words to say. Okay. So what is the past for cancer, please? Past situation or person for cancer. Thank you. Okay, so the past is eight of pentacles. Okay, so you've been working hard. Um, you've been diligent. You've been managing your responsibilities, working into the wee hours of the night, um, doing things that you like to do, passion projects, whatever that is. But you're staying up late and you're working, you know, till the wee hours, uh, burning the candle. Okay, so working very, very hard, okay, with your responsibilities, uh, with things that you want to master, okay. And that is the past situation, okay? So your thoughts, okay, so yeah, the current situation. What is the current situation and energy for cancer? What is the current energy for cancer for July 13th, 2023? Can't believe we're in July already. This summer is going to go by so fast. I can feel it. It's going to be Christmas time just around the corner. <laughs> this is when I start thinking about my Christmas list and things like that. It oh, goes by too quick. Okay. For cancer, please, what is their current situation when it comes to their person? When it comes to their person, what is cancer's current situation? A lot fell out. One card. Sorry about that. I set alarms for myself for my things to do within the day. I set alarms to, like, my things to do list is comes out in, like, Annoying alarm sounds to tell me what I need to do next. I'm a busy girl. Okay. Um, current situation, please. One card for cancer. Okay, the king of wands. Okay, that is your current situation. So you are very passionate, very much desiring someone or something at this time. Um, considering that eight of pentacles is uh, in your past, king of wands is very very charming okay he's very generous very kind giving um very well loved okay um this is your current energy how you're feeling or how you are today okay so maybe three weeks prior and three weeks looking ahead okay so yeah this is your energy very passionate very driven very motivated, okay, towards your dreams, um, your aspirations, and in the past, you've been working very, very hard towards them. So good for you, Cancer. Great energy uh, there. What are your thoughts towards your person? Thoughts towards Cancer's person, and then we'll go over to your person. Okay, two cards, I will take them. So the first card that fell out was the five of cups. So your thoughts towards your person is sadness and loss, um, crying over spilt milk. Um, things may not have worked out. You're feeling the loss. Your thoughts are, um, are very much about any lost relationships, uh, lost um, sa like sadness within the relationship. Um, and that's what you're thinking a lot about. But you're also thinking about your person, you know, that they're very strong, very brave, even though there has been sadness and loss somewhere between you. It could be 
in your external environment, the five of cups, what you're thinking about, um, but you do see your person and think about them um, possibly with some regret, um, but you know that they are very strong and strong-willed, brave, courageous. Okay, so that is what you are thinking about towards your person at this time. Thoughts and feelings. Okay, that is thoughts and feelings towards your person at this time. Okay. Four, Cancer's person, the most on Cancer's mind. Okay, we have the Page of Swords just to show um, who this person is to you. Show me the past. Cancer's person. I got two cards. I will take them. The past is, okay, your person's past energy is, um, sorry, they're flipping all around. They're two sevens. So seven of pentacles. Your person's past energy is seven of pentacles and seven of swords. Um, and that's something that is part of their journey, okay? They were working hard um, at some point in their past, and they weren't happy with what the results they were receiving or gaining. They weren't gaining as much momentum as they would have liked in their career, okay? And seven of swords, they're walking away from the battlefield, okay? This is someone just saying, that's it, I, I'm giving up with, with the battle, and he was walking away. Um, after a battle, of course, nobody wins. And so walking away, he's carrying the sword so no one can use them anymore. Whether um, that is deceitful in nature, as a sword suit, it's something that this character um, in the Seven of Swords feels that he has to do so that nobody fights, nobody um, gets hurt. So he's the person in your life right now, their past situation, they've been working very, very hard, um, possibly so that there would not be any more fights or arguments or, you know, any sort of conflict at all, okay? Um, this is a very aggressive, um, fierce energy, okay? And you see the two swords are still laying there, okay? So he's left in there as if to surrender and walking away with a pile of them. What your person has gone through in the past is um, that they didn't see any point in fighting because it wasn't going to be fruitful. So that's why they showed up together like this. So they were seeing that whatever um, seeds they were planting that could have been fruitful, it wasn't because there was so much fighting. Um, and also, I feel that what your person is, their past is, is feeling that, well, um, we're, nobody wins. We've all been defeated, so there's no fruit um, within their work, okay? Where your past is eight of pentacles coming up very strong in terms of coin abundance, working diligently. You've been able to do so um, masterfully where they just felt there was way too much conflict and they couldn't grow within the environment that they found themselves in within the past. So again, take what resonates, leave the rest. So if you didn't know, I am a Reiki healer, a true empath. Um, a lot of us are empaths. Um, it's just learning how to navigate um, our world, our universe. Um, and I'm a spiritual healer. I've worked in rooms, healing rooms as well. Um, reflexology, energy work, all sorts of things. Anyway. I did go for my very own sound bath and sound healing and cord cutting and all that. And it, I loved it. So usually I'm the one that's doing chakra healing, but I got to do that for myself. I took a mini, uh, me vacation. Okay. So the obstacles and challenges in the way, it doesn't surprise me, uh, five of wands. Okay. So that's still conflict. Okay. And it is an obstacle, something that the universe, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, your past over loved ones are asking to resolve because with any, any conflict, yes, there needs to be a common resolution. There needs to be a resolution. So problem solving obstacle is conflict, people fighting, people battling, even though it's only with ones, although in this card, it seems more fierce. This is the witch's tarot. Okay. So there's, uh, the obstacle is there is still challenges, um, needing to be, um, you know, looked upon. All right. Um, 
try to look at things if you can cancer i'm just getting this right now from an outsider's point of view um it could be hard when if you are in the thick of a conflict of any kind it is hard to you know see through that and what's actually going on but if you take an outsider's perspective it might um help dispel any conflict around you okay so that is your obstacle how to overcome the obstacle how will how will cancer be able to overcome this obstacle no no I'm going to take one because it was the only one that flipped upright. Okay, so justice. To overcome this obstacle uh, is justice, okay? Um, any conflict, um, there may be justice, maybe some sort of uh, thing going on in uh, a courtroom, uh, something to do with contracts, something to do with um, legal um, things, okay, matters, legal matters. So to overcome conflict, yes, the justice system is there to provide um, justice and serve and protect and all that that stuff. So um, I will clarify, of course, and what are your true intentions towards your person? So far, um, I will always tell you what I feel like is the most significant energy once I lay out all the cards. Um, so far, I think it's the Page of Swords, a message of some kind. That is important, okay? And it could have to do with the justice system, the Page of Swords. All right. So what is Cancer's true intentions for their person for July 2023 for their person? Okay, the sun, you want warmth. You want that uh, warmth back with your person um, rather than all the strife and conflict going on. You want to feel the sunshine, happiness with your person. That is your intention. Okay, what is Cancer's person's thoughts towards them for July 2023? Cancer's persons, what are their thoughts and feelings towards cancer? July 2023. Remember to, to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Um, it helps the channel grow. I love my viewers. Um, if you like my energy, like my vibe, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I was away. I was on a mini me vacation. <laughs> okay, so their thoughts towards you, Cancer, is and their feelings towards you are um, chaos. Okay, they feel chaotic energy, um, shock, surprise, bewildered. Have and their thoughts and feelings right now are they're building from ground up. Okay, that is also what they could their action is. Um, they're building from ground up, and that is what they're doing at this time. That is their current energy. Where yours is Knight of Wands, um, very affectionate, passionate, dri passionately driven towards different areas of things that you want um, for yourself that you desire. Um, your person has had conflict, Seven of Swords, a lot of it putting the swords down. It wasn't fruitful. They're building from ground up. Okay, that is their thoughts about you. So somehow that ties into you, um, Cancer. Okay, so I don't know who this person is, but they are rebuilding from ground up. Not sure if it's with you, but because you have the five of cups here, you have sadness and loss when um, your thoughts about your person. Okay. And you also feel that they're very strong. So um, they are strong to, I guess, walk away um, from this energy. Doesn't mean that uh, if this is a love partnership, it could be career. Okay. Take it as it resonates. If it's not your story, don't make it fit because it, it is a lot of... Um, conflict, you know, a lot of energy uh, that are, it seems very separate. Um, tarot is here to help guide us, help understand where we are at in our journey. Okay. It's a reflection. It's tarot. I see as a reflection of ourselves and others and how to overcome different obstacles 
how to learn about ourselves and others. Okay. So that is what tarot is for. It's not to pinpoint, okay, this person did wrong. That person's to blame. That's never what tarot is about. It's just a reflection of a situation with people in it. Okay. So take what resonates, leave the rest. And if this is not your message is meant for whatever cancer out there um, is needing to hear it the most. Okay. So um, the obstacles and challenges that your person is facing is the page of pentacles. So this is offering stability. This is the beginning of offering stability, security, but their eye is on pentacles, home matters, structure. So after a tower moment, of course, they would want to build and need to build with feelings of strength and security, coin, um, money, okay, for longevity. So they're wanting to build for longevity and they are at a page level, okay? So they're just getting started. They're just getting their feet wet off the ground. And um, that is what their thoughts and their feelings um, when it comes to your energy cancer, their tower moment led to them, okay, we need, they need to build again. And how are they going to do that for um, family security, you know, home wealth? Um, this could be job opportunities as well. Um, but they are sort of knowing that with, in order to build this, they're going to need at least one small token. Okay. So that is also a message card too. So they may be given um, some offers at this time in terms of finance, security, um, money matters, okay, different options, messages um, with the page of pentacles. Okay, the obstacle for your person is 10 of swords, okay? So your person was very much hurt um, throughout the course of, I don't know how many times or years. Um, it's time is, is a relative in tarot okay time is just um like that or it could be like forever in a day um but they have endured a lot of pain and that is their obstacle that they are wanting to and needing to overcome and heal from um where your obstacles the five of wands conflict with people um surrounding you and they are trying to manage um the pain that they have felt, okay, um, through different practices, I guess. The pain is over. They know that. They know the pain is over, um, especially with the tower card here, the seven of swords, uh, the seven of pentacles. They know the pain is over, and it seems like a lot of, like, separate energy, okay? Um, I don't know if we got any cup cards except for the five of cups, which is sadness and loss, and, uh, oh, yeah, the knight of cups, okay? That is, um, could be you or your person's energy. Um, okay, so what advice to overcome the challenge of the Ten of Swords? How does Cancer's person overcome the pain uh, from the Ten of Swords? Now, not saying at all that you cause this pain whatsoever. It's just pain that they have endured and they know that it's over. How do they overcome this challenge here with the Ten of Swords, please, angels, guides, ancestors. How does Cancer's person overcome the Ten of Swords for July 2023? Ten of Cups. Okay, so finding love again. Uh, trying um, love uh, once more. Um, it's how they overcome. Loving themselves, this could be loving their home. Uh, it's right under the tower. So I really do believe it's about nurturing and loving their home. And we are, um, yeah, we are in cancer season. So loving the home is very, very prominent right now. Venus will be going retrograde, um, just to let you know. And it's in the sign of Leo. So Venus in retrograde is, I'll talk about that later, but it's just sort of harder to, uh, communicate and express about love during that time. Um, and Leo season or Leos are about love, um, courage to love. Though in when we have that um, different planetary action, yes, it's going to be harder to feel sensual, to feel excited about love. 
but we're needing to look more into the cancer um, because it's also cancer season look towards nurturing our home nurturing our environment environment so that is what your person is doing it looks like that they are nurturing what they have putting all of their love into their home to rebuild with wealth of course um pentacles page of pentacles but also with all the love that they have okay so i was saying that there wasn't any love cups but yes they do um i feel want to love their home um and that is how they overcome the ten of swords so we have ten which is an ending and ten of cups which is an ending as well so ending of love beginning fresh um but they are loving their home through that okay and that is how they overcome it how you overcome your obstacle of the five of wands is justice okay what you are wanting your intentions towards your person is the sun warmth fun um play times and what they are their true intentions um at this time cancer is the death card which is scorpio um they're wanting transformation and they are transforming all of these energies okay so that they could have um a natural transformation and that makes sense if they're wanting to build okay so they are going to be transforming a lot of their um, maybe shadow side, doing some shadow work, healing, um, you know, but it's a natural tendency to shed what no longer serves you and just come up with, you know, what can help you build. This person is needing to rebuild and they're very serious about it because with the pentacles, they are very, very, um, their intent is to make sure that it's built for longevity. Okay. So they are transforming. Okay. And they're, it's a natural thing. It's like a snake's skin shedding and then the new skin um, cloaks over the snake. So it's a natural tendency. It does not mean death or doom. It means that they are just not, um, they're transforming, transforming from this through um, different areas of love, whether it's a partnership, their home, their surroundings, people in it. Okay. And that is what this season when Venus goes retrograde is all about. Okay, so you're wanting the sun and fun times with your person and they are noticing or they realize your person realizes that it's I they need to transform um, because they don't want to see uh, this ever happen again or a tower moment that could have been um, not so great. Okay, so again, what we have here for you is eight of pentacles, king of wands, the strength card, which is Leo, five of cups, five of wands, justice, the sun, your person has seven of swords, seven of pentacles, the tower, page of pentacles, 10 of swords, 10 of cups and transformation. Okay. And that is how they over, that is their intentions. Okay. What is something that binds these two energies together, please? Angels, guides, ancestors. Angels, guides, and ancestors is what binds these two energies together. Okay, the two of cups. Okay, so there is love between you or there was love between you. This could be past, present, or future. I do not know. I may clarify that one. I may. Um, I don't think I need to clarify anything else. Maybe the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here, please, for the binding energy between cancer's person and them it could be that it was a karmic um yeah karmic um lesson of some kind you know karmic um relationship where you learn from each other you come in with a love cup to sustain as much as you need to learn about so that is what the two of cups is bringing in a love of equal amount um and there's love for that reason. But it also, when you meet different partners on your journey, um, if they're not bringing the same two of cups back to you and you're giving, you keep, for example, just for example, and you keep giving the love, giving the love, and they're not meeting you with that love cup as well, um, even a little bit, even if a, a little bit's missing each time, it the relationship won't happen. But what you also to clarify that you have, I can't show you because of, but it's the star. Okay. So that's Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, two of cups. I see as a Gemini card as well. 
uh, cups are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So um, what is binding you is there is a karmic bond between you, um, whether there's lessons that have been needing to learn or relearn or different um, justifications or anything to do with justice. Um, their intentions are pure and so are yours. That's what I'm getting from that. Your intentions are pure and you both have the star energy too. So that is star energy. Okay. So that is something that you both share, whether it's about each other or a purpose of your own creativity, something intuitive. Um, there's the star energy that is your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. Okay, so I think there's a deep rooted love um, for you both. I think there's a, a sense of um, companionship or there has been, and that's what has binded you together. And now I'm going to ask um, for any outcome for cancer. What is the most probable outcome for cancer with them and their person? Cancer and their person, most probable probable outcome definitely need a sip of water probable outcome for cancer and their person what is the outcome what is the what is going to happen in the future the most probable outcome in the future for cancer and their person looks like you've both been through a lot okay so the most probable outcome cancer and please take what resonates leave the rest is the nine of swords so that is just you know, staying up late at night, thinking, rethinking, anxiety driven, um, fear, thinking about what can go wrong, what did go wrong, you know, how do I fix the situation? So, Nine of Swords is the ultimate worry card. And I'm going to clarify that. Can I clarify the Nine of Swords for Cancer's outcome? When there is a negative um, outcome with the card, I always offer a bonus reading to uh, rectify that. So how will they rectify the nine of swords for cancer in their future? How do they rectify the feeling of anxious and worry, worry with the nine of swords? Okay, four of pentacles. Okay, so um, let go of the anxiousness and worry. That is exactly what this is saying. Plain as they let go of anything um, that's hard to deal with. Um, you're wanting the sun with a partner, whether it's this one or another, that is your true intentions with someone. So um, this is not helping you. So let go of things that are no longer serving you. Let go of the fear of security, not having security, um, not, you know, holding your coins too tight, um, things to do with money, wealth, you may be worried about. They want you to let go of the worry because you cannot create coin um, like you have in the past. You cannot create this if most of the time you're feeling this energy because this would override this any any day of the week. Okay, nine of swords will override those pentacles any day of the week. They want you to let go and try different methods of letting go. Anything to do with self-love, self-care, um, going for walks in nature, um, really getting out your energy in the daytime before you go to bed at night. Four, the cancerous person, how do they overcome? Or no, sorry, what is the highest? I need drink water. I tend to talk faster when my mouth is dry because I'm a Reiki healer and things like that. The tarot for the most part of my life, adult life anyways, all of my adult life. Um, yeah, I need water constantly. You may find that if you're a healer as well, that you constantly are thirsty. We're always replenishing our energy. Okay. For the most probable outcome for cancer's person, what is the most probable outcome for cancer's person for July, 2023? Most probable outcome for cancer's person's future. Four of Cups. Okay, so um, boredom in love. Okay, so that is could could be why they're putting so much into their home at this time. So they are 
not either. They're not really looking for love. They don't want to. There is love surrounding them. They're not wanting to look at their environment. However, it is in the future. They're not wanting to deal with love matters, but they are wanting the Ten of Cups to nurture nurture their home. Okay. So love partners for them um, maybe off the table at this point. Um, and they're not looking towards that, even though there is love offers. Um, they're not looking at any love offers at this time, but they are rebuilding their home. Okay, so any other messages, advice from spirit? I'm going to pull one uh, oracle card for you too, Cancer, uh, from my new oracle deck, Oracle of the Fairies. So any other advice from spirit, advice from spirit for Cancer or their person? I'll do one card for Cancer, one card with a person. Advice from spirit, please, for Cancer. For cancer advice, celebrate, okay? Celebrate friendships, go out, have fun, enjoy, meet new people, okay? And really just enjoy uh, life and all the bounty and everything that it has instead of doing this, okay? Really, really get together with friends, family, loved ones, celebrate, okay? Celebrate your successes because it looks like you have been working hard, diligently towards your passion celebrate with others this could be also um birth announcements marriage okay people coming together in for some sort of celebration celebrating you okay so friendships are important okay that is your advice your friends and family are important celebrate life okay and for cancer's person any advice from spirit angels and ancestors Nine of Cups. Okay, so wishes fulfilled. Okay, so um, your person's advice is to fill their own cups, which is the Nine of Cups energy, which I was already talking about with the uh, Ten of Cups. So uh, wishes fulfilled, um, wishes granted, um, self-love, self-healing. Um, this is everything that they've ever wanted is right in front of them on the table. They're very happy about that. They're very happy with their home, their bounty, and um that is your person's future. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is a new adventure, the fool's journey. So uh, taking a leap of faith, Cancer, that is for you, okay? And trying something new on a new adventure. Could be a new person, place, or thing, job opportunity. I don't know, but that is what is coming for you, Cancer. And uh, I think it's raining again. It's been thunder sun in Ontario and Canada. It's a lot of thunder this and storms this week so okay fairies these are for you cancer what do we have for cancer july 13 2023 what do the fairies want cancer to know now remember can cancer fairies are very fun mysterious mischievous sometimes mischievous uh they love to celebrate when people aren't celebrating they're just like bored as anything so um they like to kick things up a notch sometimes and uh but they're fun they're always there to lighten things up okay so that is just a in a nutshell uh fairies if you believe in fairies um Anyways, there are many books on the matter, so I don't know if there are any. I've never seen them, but um, anyways, <laughs> their energy, though, of the fairies, I believe in. So playful, fun, energetic, but a lot of vitality. They're never tired. Okay, so for Cancer from the fairy realm, from the fairy realm. They say that when you close your eyes really tight and then you open them, and you know you feel that you see some sparkles going about and you think, oh, I must be dizzy. They say in many um, books I've read that that is your fairies surrounding you. So whether you believe that or not is kind of sweet, cute to think something like that. Why not? Better than some of the things that we could think about in the world, right? All right. So for cancer, fairies, what do we have from our fairies for cancer? Fairy spotting. Was I not just talking about that? Like, did I not just have a whole spiel about what a fairy is and how to spot them? Okay, so they're acknowledging that, I guess, in their fun, uh, quirky way. Fairy spotting. I was just talking about that. Uh, it's time to go fairy spotting. It said that 
seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. Yeah. So I believe, why not? So you might want to go fairy spotting. You never know what you could find. Sometimes droplets on a leaf uh, on a tree um, could be a fairy. Who knows inside that bubble? I don't know. Anyways, I'm doing real tarot here, but I do love that fairy uh, deck, that Oracle deck. So uh, yeah, have fun going fairy spotting as you celebrate life. Things will turn around. They always do cancer. Okay. It's an ebb and flow of just what nature is, what we are here to evolve and learn and grow to do differently. Okay. So fool's journey is in store for you and it's an exciting one. When it shows up, it means take it. All right. So uh, also at the bottom of we have six of pentacles. So fair giving, fair receiving. Okay. Very important. And uh, nine of wands we have and the world starting a new chapter. Okay. So that's coming for you in the next few months. Okay. All of this. I will see you next time, Cancer. It's always a pleasure. Please like, share, su subscribe to Tease Tarot. I would so appreciate it when you do. You're in that prize draw. Thanks for hanging in with me. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time, Cancer.